Hey everyone, Jason Wackerly here. Today, I'm just gonna do a quick video showing you kind of a fishing home decor idea that I seen in a gift shop of all places, but then I thought, hey, that would be a good idea for my living room, given the fact I have so much fishing-based home decor in this house. So let me show you guys this little idea I seen in this gift shop a while back. If you ever want to prove you're a fisherman and have some nice home decor, get yourself an old fish basket or a new one, but an old used up one is a lot better. You don't want to waste money on a new one just to hang it from your ceiling, but you can find these old fish baskets at flea markets, you might even own a few already, but just hang a bunch of antique lures and fishing lures that mean something to you, to it. I mean, you can't have a living room without a fish basket if you're a fisherman, you know, or a pitcher of a loon, or a pitcher of a musky, trying to eat a red winged blackbird of all things. And I got my cat down here being a little butter. Always interrupting videos, but he's a cute one. But yeah, every single lure on this thing means something to me. Like my father, Mark Weckerly, passed away about 20 years ago. That white lure right here, this crankbait, was the first fishing lure he ever bought. His godparents actually bought it for him. I also have his F-18 Rapala. It's got a bunch of teeth marks and wear and tear on it. His old school big O crankbait. I got a beat up Rapala original hanging right there that broke after I bounced it off a bridge on accident casting. Right here is a Berkeley flicker shed with the hooks completely removed and it's bent and chewed to pieces. I had a King Salmon destroyed this lure don't know how the hell it did it but they're powerful fish end of story on that one got a couple husky jerks that i caught a lot of fish on some old map spinners the black one right there my friend katie the musky killer my friend katie gave that to me as a gift we have an old maps Comet with the old minnow on it. Very old. The olive green Etz wrap you see hanging right here. I actually caught my biggest largemouth bass, a seven and a half pound 24 incher up in the Wisconsin North Woods. Probably about 16 years ago now. Got the old school spoon plug. There's actually an entire book written about this about 60 years ago. It's got two different connections for shallow and deep for tying your line. But the beginning of stretcher fishing and guys figuring out drop-offs and underwater rock piles and weed beds and weed edges started with lures like this. Guys trolling around and using these spoon plugs. But I got... Even a few soft plastics. But all these are just lures I found decorative. And now I got myself a fish basket in the corner of my living room here. Just a little idea for you guys if you ever want to decorate your house. There you go. Get yourself a fish basket. Well, if you guys like this short little video and this little home decor idea subscribe to my page hit the like button i put out weekly content take you guys on my fishing adventures i try to do tutorial videos to teach you guys how to fish or what i do to catch fish and every subscription is free and it's greatly appreciated like and subscribe good luck fishing and have a nice day